gloves, like the medical gloves, like you wear at the doctor's office, we're going to blot it. We're going to take a look, okay, and we're going to apply pressure. Because we need the pressure, because that's how you get the bleeding to stop. So I'm going to hold up there the non-stick kind. You could just sort of fold that and put that on top. And then you can either wrap it with a bandage, or a lot of times I use tape. You hold that. You can also ask the person if they're awake and conscious. Fine tip sterile tweezers, grasp the tip right next to the skin surface, avoiding grabbing it by its midsection as you don't want to squeeze and cause it to secrete the pathogens into you. Hi Ryan. Hi. Taking care of Bear's leg. <laughs> Good job, bro. Again, we're going to right hip right, right down the middle first, and then down the side. <laughs> I'm just making a bunch up for the kids and we'll talk about them here in a little bit. Well, Bear thanks you for his new hobo reel. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out, Bear. Mom, it's awesome. Right here. What I did to, uh, I won't thread one, but...